Did you know that for a thousand dollars you can build a great gaming PC that will crush 1080p and 1440p resolution, high to ultra settings, even in high demanding games? The gaming PC build I will be showing you today is one of the best price to performance gaming systems in the entire market. So stay until the end if you want to see the expected level of gaming performance at 1080p and 1440p resolution. And I will also show you two PC alternatives in case you want to save a hundred dollars and get very similar gaming performance, or if you have a bit of extra money to spend and you want even faster performance to play at 4K resolution. The links to these computers will be down below in the video description with the latest pricing and availability in your region. My name is Valentino, that being said, let's start. So we'll start by talking about the main system and the first component that I will be talking about is the CPU. Here I went with a Ryzen 5 processor in the Ryzen 5 9600X. This CPU is by far the best value price to performance CPU in the entire market at the moment because by the time of filming it's going for around 150 bucks, which is a total steal. I mean, this CPU is very fast and will be amazing for either high CPU demanding titles or easy to run shooters like Valorant, Fortnite and CS2. You can expect well over 360 plus FPS on average competitive settings at 1080p or 1440p resolution. So feel free to go with a high refresh rate monitor if you want to compete in these type of games. And most importantly, this CPU is amazing so it will not bottleneck your graphics card. That is the main point. You want your graphics card, which is the main component for gaming, not to be bottleneck that way you get the fastest performance with no stutters or FPS drops. Speaking about the graphics card, I went with the NVIDIA RTX 5060 Ti, 16 GB version. This is one of the best price to performance graphics cards in the entire market and you can play games at 1440p high to ultra settings and I'm talking about high demanding titles with no issues. In fact, you can run this type of games at 70 plus FPS on average at 1440p and over 90 FPS when it comes to 1080p. So you can either max out 1080p or have a very good gaming experience at 1440p no matter the type of game. Now with this 5060 Ti you also get a very solid level of ray tracing performance and you get DLSS which is the upscaler from Nvidia and works amazingly well. So if you want to play the latest most high demanding games out there, let's say you want to play them at 1440p and you want to get closer to 90 or 100 FPS on average, turning on DLSS will be ideal and as I said before DLSS works amazingly well. Now for the rest of the components you get an aftermarket CPU cooler for this Ryzen 5 processor and you get plenty of airflow from the Montec X5M because you get four pre-installed RGB fans, a front mesh panel and overall it looks amazing. Then you get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory so you will be getting an amazing level of streaming, content creation and productivity work performance as well so this PC is not only good for gaming but it's also good for multitasking. Now the total price for this system by the time of filming is around 990 bucks. Maybe when you're watching this the price is cheaper or maybe it's a bit more expensive so I do recommend you checking the latest prices from the links down below in the video description. Now, if you have less money to spend but you still want to get very similar gaming performance, I do recommend you switching from the RTX 5060 Ti to the RX 9060 XT 16GB version from AMD. Both graphics cards are very similar, the 9060 XT is basically the same when it comes to rasterized gaming performance but you do lose the Nvidia features, meaning that the level of ray tracing performance is not as good and also you get FSR which is the upscaler from AMD which right now works really well but it's not as good as DLSS and it's also supported in fewer games than DLSS so you lose some Nvidia features but you get a $100 discount for almost the same rasterized performance so if you're looking for the best price to performance system this one will be even better and the total price will be closer to 900 bucks for the entire system now on the other hand if you have around $100 more to spend for around $1100 for the entire system you can switch to the Nvidia RTX 5070 this is one of the fastest graphics cards in the market for 1440 pure resolution and you can play at 1440p 100 plus fps on average in high to ultra settings in high demanding games and you can also play at 4k 60 plus fps or even faster performance depending on the game and if you turn DLSS or not. However the 5070 is definitely faster than the 5060 Ti and 9060 XT so again if you want faster performance you want higher frame rates in those high demanding titles upgrading to the 5070 might be a good investment especially if you have around 1100 dollars to spend for the entire system. By the way one thing I forgot to mention is that you get Wi-Fi included in every PC I mentioned and remember that you will find the PC alternatives as well down below in the video description. And if you have even more money to spend, let's say you have around $1,500 to spend or maybe you have $2,000 or maybe you have even more, well I made an entire video talking about the best value PC builds of the month for 1080p, 1440p and 4K resolution. So I do recommend you watching that video in the top right corner of the screen and, and you will also find my personal PC help in case you want me to help you out, find the right 
system for your budget and needs in the top link in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.